And you know what? What we're going to discuss is TikTok. You know what? TikTok is in the news. And I know y'all just, y'all just want me to get to the point. TikTok is really, really, really in the news. And um, I think it's uh, very interesting. TikTok, you know, people are saying, there are individuals that are saying that TikTok just should be banned. TikTok, out of all of the applications that have evolved since 2000, I mean, 2016, that TikTok has 2 billion users. How you doing, Dr. Lee Warren? I'm doing fine. You know, you know what I have. You know what I have. Um, Doctor Lee Warren. He is. Um, he, he's astute. He's intelligent. He's always doing research, and he has a show called Plimp Power Late Man. Well, I've been at this and part of my ministry for about really uh, close to forty years. Mm-hmm. Well, and. Uh, well, we, we were just a local, still local cable, mm-hmm. Chicago cable. It's only seen on cable. We know many people don't have cable now because it's kind of expensive. But our show is re, re, is re-shown on the, on the web mm-hmm. at plim2.org. That's P-L-I-M, the number two. Mm-hmm. And you have to register for this. It's free. It's just the, uh, uh, you know, form some type of security in this. It keeps it some of the craziness down. Yes. And, uh, Go ahead. I'm listening to you. I'm, this is interesting. I'm listening to you. <laughs> and um, then we'll be on the cable, like I said, 30, oh, a little over 30, more than 30 years. Yes. yes. We cover a multitude of topics, geopolitical, scripture, uh, health, <laughs> Uh, uh, vaccine, the vaccination, you name it, we cover the whole waterfront. Mm-hmm. If you would understand what is taking place, because at this point in in time, yes, the most important thing that you can receive is the truth. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. It's the truth that's going to make you free from all these propaganda and lies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, Dr. Lee Warren, um, you know what, thank you. And you know what, I encourage people to look at the Underground Railroad television show, whether it's on the internet or um, tele- can television in Chicago every Saturday night at 1032. Look at Plim Power Layton Man, you know, and um, have him on your show. Write an article about him because he's talking about things that are going on. He's not trying to put you to sleep. He's trying to wake you up. Your man is right. So, and you know, um, I want to get down, you know, what to TikTok. I want to ask you something, Dr. Lee. You know what? Um, in Congress, they had a subcommittee hearing about TikTok. And people that don't even know who TikTok is, okay, they were created in 2016. And I want to ask you something. Um, they were created how did they, they, and they put short videos on from six seconds to 10 seconds. And I think that's the maximum. I want to ask you, how is it that they gathered all, there are 2 billion people that have downloaded this application where you can make short videos? How did they obtain even doing something like that? I, Something like TikTok never would have entered my mind. Well, you really, you have to understand the viewership of that. They usually are some teenagers to uh, those that are, uh, mm-hmm. uh, I guess, uh, and you say, say from, from a 10, 12, all the way back up to about 25 or 30 mm-hmm. that are, are being entertained by uh, TikTok. Mm-hmm. So, th- they have a target marketing, and uh, they they understand the marketing of it, mm-hmm. and uh, which enables them to re- direct their their uh, target audience would be that audience. 
Yes. That they have. So they have a lot of games, a lot of things that would entertain young people. Okay. They, see, you know, the seniors or somebody in the uh, uh, middle ages, that would bother them. But you got to understand that America, the West, they have a special culture mm -hmm. called the teenagers culture. Yes. And it, it, it really was, was devised for that consumer, because in a lot of countries, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they don't have that to the, to the degree that we have it here. Yes. There's a yes. certain music that they listen to, see? Mm -hmm. There's a certain style of clothes that they wear, you see what I'm saying? Yes. And what TikTok has done is focus in on that particular group around the world. Then you, then you got the, uh, uh, you know, the rap, which is a, uh, very popular amongst you it has spread uh, mm -hmm. across the world. So mm -hmm. these are the things that they target mm -hmm. and they have a great uh, influence, especially mm -hmm. with the games and stuff. Now remember when we were coming up, the games that we had was, you know, check out certain, and you could say uh, uh, other little pit pat games that we had, but none of those games were digitized. Yes. As they are now, with the technology that we have available. Yes. They have a lot of cartoons. You know, cartoons are, are, are specifically designed for um, basically uh, that age group. Say. Yes. Yes. And you have to understand that that age group is very prone to, uh, how should I say it? Uh, uh, see, that social, that group is a social group. Mm -hmm. a lot of interaction between mm -hmm. them, you, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, they play, they talk, they, they, their social act, interaction is probably more so greater than it is somebody in the, in, in the Middle Ages or seniors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, excuse me, Dr. Warren, I'm getting a message from Do Dr. Penny Warren. He said, contact Plim. And I have that information in the telephone number 773-509-8124. They have a, y'all have a weekly television show that comes on Chicago um, Can Television. And you know what? The link will be in the description. And she has a show. It comes on Channel 36 from 8.30 to 9.30 Thursdays. Okay. But go ahead, Dr. Warren. I was just reading that, but I, I'm going to post it anyway. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. so, so, and their their whole say I say personality is really shaped around their interactions. So, a teenager having very how should I say it? If they have little or no communication, they usually are depressed. They go through a lot of psychological trauma. Mm -hmm. See, but what? TikTok does. Yes. It allows the interaction now. It's not person to person, but mm -hmm. it's digital. Yes. Most of the interaction you have mm -hmm. for most teenagers is, is in school. Mm hmm. See? Mm hmm. And, and now, well, that could be expanded and measured. Mm hmm. What do you mean? How can it be measured? How many hits did you got for this particular? Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, just, 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 just doing dumb stuff. Yes, Coffee. yes. And yes. you know, personalities and whatever. That, that, that increase. So, say a, a teenager's got a hundred, two hundred thousand hits. Mm -hmm. Well, he has a great popularity mm -hmm. among his peers. Yes. As a result of uh, TikTok, so it has really. Kind of took over the uh, that 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 age group more than anybody else. I would like to I like to ask you something, Dr. Lee Warren. Does it surprise you that they have almost that the third most used app behind Zoom and Peacock? Does that surprise you? 